Hi everyone, welcome to my cocina. It is Tuesday, which can only mean one thing. It's Taco Tuesday. And not just any taco, but white girl tacos. Now I can't take credit for that. That credit goes to our really good friend, Miss Vicki Harris. Now the main difference between a regular taco and a white girl taco is in the meat. Regular taco, you could use shredded beef, you could use carne asada, but in a white girl taco, you're gonna use ground whatever. It could be ground turkey, it could be ground beef, and tonight we're gonna be using ground turkey. And instead of using a very traditional cheese, many of them, like panela and cotija, we are going to use good old American cheddar cheese. We are ready to brown our ground turkey. I've got my pan heating up. I've got olive oil, not too much. I always cook with olive oil. Here we go. You don't need that much. We're gonna go ahead and place our ground turkey. on a medium heat, actually medium to high heat at first. Break it up. Put a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much salt, because we have a, a, a secret ingredient going in a little bit, pepper. And thank you, Miss Vicky, for my lovely salt and pepper shaker. Thank you very much. We'll turn down the heat just a little bit, medium, I'd say. This was a pound of ground turkey. I tend to cook with turkey more than I do ground beef. I just think it's a leaner meat. I don't have to drain as much as I would if I had uh, a skillet of ground beef. It's already starting to cook up real nice. One of the very first things that I learned to cook growing up with a mom that was an, the most amazing cook was white girl tacos. But at that time, I didn't really know, <laughs> never heard anyone call, refer to them as white girl tacos. So now that we are browning our ground turkey, I typically like to put in the onion early on, so you can already tell, I mean, there's hardly any liquid in the skillet. Let's go ahead and put the onion. Again, we're keeping it on a medium heat. Again, this is about a, a pound of ground turkey. Salt, not too much salt. Pepper and onion. Diced onion. It's browning up real nice. I'm gonna put a little more pepper in there. Let that cook up real nice. Okay, so we are pretty much done browning our ground turkey. As you can see, it's all the liquid that was in there earlier is gone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the seasoning that I like to put in. And um, we already put some salt and pepper, but I love cayenne in my, my ground anything. So we're going to put a little bit of, I'm not really measuring this, you kind of can go by just taste, but I would say about a teaspoon if you don't like it too, too hot, but if you like it hot like we do, you can put a little bit more. And I'm going to just grab a, a tablespoon, I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit more, and I will just flake it on there, and I, again, I didn't use too much salt 
because there's plenty of salt in the nors. It kind of gives it a really nice sheen to the meat. Changes the color up. I can already smell the aroma. It's gonna be great. So that's pretty much our filling for our white grilled tacos. I turn that down to low, and I would say that we've been sauteing for maybe 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. But it looks great, and you don't have to drain your meat. Okay, there you have it. Okay, we're ready to make our taco shells. I've got it on high heat just to kind of really warm up the olive oil. You want to have your heat on high. You want to be able to really coat the tortilla, the corn tortilla. There we go. Leave them in there for about a minute or so. You, got, you can kind of get a feel. If you turn it over too soon, they'll break apart on you. So. You want to know that they've cooked on the one side before you turn them over. There's nothing better than fried torti corn tortillas for your shells instead of the store-bought ones. There we go. You like them crispy, you want them on high. To me, the crispier, the better. It's nice. It's just Scott and I tonight. We don't need to make too many, do we, honey? White girl tacos. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. You can tell it's starting to get a little hot. Look at that. We are ready to fill our white girl tacos. We're gonna put a little bit of cheese. We put some salsa. You can make your own if you're inclined or you can buy it from the store. And then we have iceberg lettuce that I like to put on top. If you wanted to put sour cream on it, you could. If you wanted to put a slice of avocado on there, you could. But that looks pretty good to me, just like that. Very easy. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Really good. Delicioso. From my cocina to yours, I hope you enjoy these white grilled tacos. 